Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Rory On Air. More aviation is about to be committed because I'm taking a couple of my course mates from uh, HC1, the first integrated uh, helicopter commercial training course in the UK in 10 years. Sam and Connor are coming with me down to Ter Western for a spot of lunch. I hope they're buying. All right, chaps, can you all hear me? Hey, firm. You got um, me as well? Yeah, all good. Magic. Heli Centre 45 lifting and taxi to the H. 45, Roger. So we've got lopsided on the left here, is it? That'll be Sam. Yeah. Wean it. Sam, wean it down. Classic Sam, that is. Yeah, it's interesting how much difference actually just the two of you mates compared to Lizzie. Well, I'm sorry. I like my food. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Rory On Air. I'm about to be scrutinised by two of my helicopter pilot friends, Connor Mackay and Sam Hayes, both fellow graduates of Helicentre Aviation's first integrated commercial pilot training course, HC1. Heli Centre 45, taking off runway 10, stack it right. Over twin, uh, zero, six, zero degrees, one one knot. The guys have both gone straight into doing their instrument ratings, whereas I've decided to build hours on the R44 and Cabri before doing a flight instructor course later this summer. Today I'm taking them to a favourite local haunt, Ter Western, just a few miles west of Silverstone. Everybody happy? Pretty yeah. Also, remain youth one zero. It's been a while since I've been out here. <laughs> Feels a bit odd not having a cyclic in my hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. being up here, I feel like I should be holding on to something. I yeah. felt that exactly when I went up with <laughs> Calvin. I was like, God, this is strange not having any control over anything. You know, it really does require an extra level of trust. Yeah, yeah. We believe in you. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit late to change your mind now. <laughs> yeah, a bit, yeah, yeah. Ellie said to 4-5, we've just departed the zone to the uh, east-southeast, climbing to altitude 2,200 feet and changing to Birmingham radar on 123.980. Roger. Yeah. <laughs> How's everyone doing temperature-wise? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I've got my wee, my wee vent here. I'll be not right. closing. Probably should have taken my jumper off. If, like. if we do this, Get air comes in over the top. Oh my god, you're gonna ruin my hair, cause that. <laughs> <laughs> right, stop recording while I fix my hair. A mess, you made it. <laughs> well, I like the glasses though, oh, the glasses are nice. God, you're so vain. The glasses are good, aren't they? They yeah, sit they under the headset really nicely. Yeah, they do. Can't tell they're on. London Information, good morning, Heli Centre 4 5, request basic service. Heli Centre 45, London Information, stand by, number one, just on landline, we'll call you. Heli Centre 45, London Information, pass message. Heli Centre 45 is an R44 helicopter from Leicester to Ter Western, currently overhead Bruntingthorpe uh, airfield at <coughs> 2,200 feet on 1029. 3 POB VFR routing direct to Ter Western, request basic service. Heli Centre 45, Roger Scott 1177 with Mo Charlie, and is a basic service. Squat 1177, Mo Charlie, basic service, Heli Centre 45. Heli Centre 45, thank you, and what's your estimate for Ter Western? Estimate minute 49, Ter Western, Heli Centre 45. Heli Centre 45, thank you. Sky Demon is the saviour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Altitude, Rory. Come on. <laughs> Get on. Uh, North Uniform November, currently at rugby. North Uniform November, Roger. Uh, some possible opposite direction traffic for you. Robinson 44 helicopter uh, just to the south of Bruntingthorpe, heading southwest towards to western, last four to 2200. That's Keep us. Look out. Looking out, North Uniform November. And Heli Centre 45, some possible opposite direction traffic for you. An AS 50 helicopter, last reported 1800 feet in the rugby area, heading north. Looking for traffic, Heli Centre 45. Visual, uh, one o'clock, our height, just above the wind uh, turbines. Uh, one o'clock. <coughs> just above the horizon. Oh yeah, got it. Traffic in sight, Heli Centre 45. Heli Centre 45, Roger. 
Good spot, Sam. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'll probably be changing to sleep a little bit later. Uh, sleep radio. Go for uh, Papa Lima. Go for Papa Lima. Busy, isn't it? It is busy. So what do you think of the 44 so far then? That's quite nice, isn't it? That's very nice. I like my seating position. It's comfortable. It stretched my legs out. And it's quick. And it's really nice to be able to fly with you both after all the all the training together and everything. Yes, thanks for taking us. No, it's a pleasure. It's great to be able to share it with people who appreciate it and enjoy it. Yep. Nice to just look out the window. Yeah, it is. I found that when I was up with Calvin. I was just gazing at stuff on the ground. Yeah, I'm always trying to spot the big houses. Yeah. Now, when I came into Terra West, I could barely see it. Yeah, well, you see the um, the wind, t the, not wind turbine, the solar farm first. Right. So there's a couple of no fly zones on the way into it, so yeah, yeah, well, we'll get them up on here as well. That's why I'm just going to come to a right off track just to sort of line us up with a left base join. Ali Centre 4-5, we're just uh, overhead the Daventry VOR, changing to Tow Western Radio on 122.180. Ali Centre 4-5, we're just going to get it. Four conspicuity, many thanks. Ali Centre 4-5. Good effort on the conspicuity work. Tow <laughs> so Western Radio, good morning. Ali Centre 4-5, request join. Ali Centre 4-5, hello to Western Radio. We're using runway 09 left hand for the fixed wing and the QFE is 1015. QFE 1015, runway 09 in use, left hand circuit. We are an R44 helicopter currently uh, two miles to the south of the Daventry VOR. We're going to uh, join left base for runway 09. Heli Centre 45, roger. quite a stretch isn't it to get to that yeah it is um, I mean it's good job I'm tall yeah yeah um, one of the guys I think it was James was telling me that um, in some of the aircraft you'll see a bit of pipe like a bit of hose pipe stuck on that right and it's so that to give you an extra inch oh, or right. so a couple of things showing up on TCAS they're probably in the circuit so I'm visual with um, uh, what's it called Brackley the, the village oh, yeah uh, Heli Centre 4 5, traffic for you is uh, inbound traffic uh, reported. Uh, I would have estimate downwind hasn't yet reported. Looking for traffic, Heli Centre 4 5. Golf, it's a Sarah Funnel 09. Right, Golf, so one on final, one on downwind. downwind. Zero, five, zero Zoom in the T-cast of two miles. Golf, it's Sarah. Oh, that's the other thing that's good about this. And Heli Centre 4 5, that was the circuit traffic, shows how much I know. <laughs> no way. Yeah. And heavy centre four five. That was the circuit traffic. Shows how much I know. Ah, oh, nice. And hit play and repeat every, the last transmission. It's brilliant. Great. Yeah. Basically, if we just keep avoiding the corner of the town, I'm going to just keep a little bit more speed on because it's slightly less slappy at high speed. Golf Victor, forget it. Oh, it makes a bit of rack at them bleeds, don't they? Yeah, it does. Hi, Golf Victor, Sierra. Uh, Sierra, it's thank you very much. Bumps, for that. Isn't it? And welcome, of course. Are you parking on the left on the grass, if you wish. Uh, or in front of that row of aircraft with your wheels on the hard. Up to you. Heli Centre 45, established left base for runway 09. Uh, Heli Centre 45, runway 09 vacant, service wind 050 degrees, 13 knots. Heli Centre 45, final. Roger, service wind 090 degrees, 15 knots. on the tail rotor in a crosswind because it's such a long arm. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's just a 4-5 runway vacated. Okay, it's 4-5. Roger, can you remind me, did you require fuel? Negative, heading to 4-5. Thanks a lot.
pointing into wind now. Well, I, I like it out of the sun. Ah, uh, true, I said. So I am making life unnecessarily difficult for myself, but... That'll do. Hang on a minute, I haven't, I, I'd forgotten to press record. <laughs> no, I'll get the personal will come. Yeah. Um, okay, what did I say? Oh, my lines again. Right, okay. my, my hair wasn't very good. I forgot right. to press record the first time. So Connor's complaining it's too windy and that I've messed up his hair and he doesn't want to be on video. Um, Sam's paid the landing fee. We're going to go and get some lunch. It was quite a sporty approach, actually. About 19 knots of wind, 17, 19 knots, something like that. Um, so quite a bit, actually. And when I came off the runway, the wind catch, caught the tail and I was having to be quite on it on the feet. But we got down safely and um, I've made life unnecessarily <laughs> difficult by a downwind landing with the tail into wind to try and keep the cockpit out of the sun. And uh, hopefully that'll pay off without us roasting when we come back to it later on. So let's go to the cafe and see what we can find. Eh? because he didn't think that's enough chips, but I think that's an excellent looking bagel. <laughs> because I learned to fly there, I have to admit I referenced Barton quite a lot during our ground school and initial flight training. After a few days on the course, Sam started going mini, 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 every time I said the word Barton. He's nothing if not consistent. After lunch, we decided to go and have a wander in search of a sleek green heli we'd seen arrive while we were ordering our food. This single turbine AW119 is also known as a koala. As far as I can tell, it's basically the 109 but with skids and one engine instead of two. I think there are only a few of these in service in the UK. Just as we were about to return to our aircraft, we spotted a convoy of historic military vehicles approaching, which was also cool to watch. Once again, Ter Western has done us proud today. I'll tell you what, I'm glad we got in the cafe before this lot turned up. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this programming to bring you some important news. We're hosting a fly-in and you're invited. Starring the flying reporter, plain old Ben, Rory on air, Jodel Flyer, the micropilot, let's go flying, and Ben Atkinson. We'll be broadcasting live on the day you can fly in or drive in, and we're absolutely thrilled that spaces are selling really fast. This event is sponsored and made possible by Pooley's Flight Equipment, and we're raising money for the Midlands Air Ambulance. Book your place now. We can't wait to meet you on Sunday, the 15th of August at Wolverhampton Hakeney Green. I think it's gonna be an absolutely fantastic event, and I can't wait to see you there. Right, that's us done at Ter Western. Those two are arguing because connor has got long legs and he doesn't like sitting in the back, but it's only fair. Hi Sonia, it's Rory. We're just about to uh, start up from Ter Western and we'll probably be about uh, 45 minutes on the way back. Magic, see you shortly. You. Cheers, bye. Right, that's us uh, booked out from Heli Centre, so they'll be keeping an eye on us as we head back up. Now, it is quite windy. Um, it's within the limits, but where I've parked has sort of kept the cockpit out of the sun a bit. But it also means that when I start up, I'm going to have a crosswind from my right, so I'm going to have to be quite careful on turning it into wind, which um, is a bit of a challenge. But we've practiced it, we trained for it, we did quite a lot of our early training in quite strong windy conditions, all three of us actually. So um, I think uh, we'll absolutely be fine. So we'll get fired up and uh, 
we'll go and have a look at Silverstone on the way home, eh? So Western Radio, good afternoon, Heli Centre 45, request airfield information in radio check for a flight to Leicester. Uh, Heli Centre 45, we're using runway 09, left hand for the fixed wing, uh, the QNH 1029, current surface wind 070 degrees, 15 knots. Runway news 09, left hand circuit for rotary uh, and fixed wing, and the QNH 1029, Heli Centre 45. OK, we're clear all around then, so threats here are, we've got quite a strong crosswind from the right, we'll lift and turn 90 degrees to the right, and then sort of depart to the north-north-east. <coughs> Everybody happy? Yes! Yes! Center 45 is uh, ready to lift and depart to the north-north-east from our present position. Helicenter 45, nothing known to affect that surface wind current. Currently 060 degrees, 13 knots. Lifting heli centre 45. Tail clear your oh, side. Roger. Tail clear your side. Okay, nobody coming. Heli centre 45 taking off. Four five zero six zero one three knots. You're a bit bumpy, eh? It is a bit, isn't it? That was uh, quite sporty. <laughs> just get a gust of wind underneath the disc, and then because we're just pendulously hanging underneath it, you just sort of get wallowed about. Oh, the car is racing today. Yeah, someone racing. Ah, oh, give it a couple orbits. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it around on your side. Thank you very much. A bonus double bubble. That's a good commercial pilot there, thinking of his passengers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's on. I wonder if touring cars are on. I did, last time I came around, I did have a look on the website to see if I could work out what it was that was going on, but as someone who knows absolutely nothing about motorsport, it was all double dutch to me. Yeah, right. That is a fierce wind today. It is a fierce wind. 069 at 19 knots at the moment. It feels more than that. Yeah, it really does. It certainly felt like more than that on the ground. I wonder what this little bit down here is. It's you know, like a kiddie's bit. Little go kart track or yeah. something, isn't it? Where? This tracks are here? Yeah, yeah. just down next uh, to us. The, the building there is the uh, Porsche. Have like a track day experience thing, so I think they use this track. Right. The cars are actually vacating along the apron. Cool. That is Very cool. cool. Is that where they all camp out in their motorhomes? Is that the race on the weekend? On? It will do, yeah. <laughs> Halley Centre 45, we're now a mile or so north of uh, Silverstone. We're going to change to your London information on 124.6. Halley Centre 45, Roger. Thanks for coming in. It's always good to see such things. Well, thanks for the uh, hospitality. We'll see you next time, Any Centre 45. Any Centre 45, any information? Good afternoon, passage. Any Centre 45 is an R44 helicopter from Tur Western to Leicester. We're currently four miles east of Daventry VOR. Altitude 1,700 feet on 1029, 3 POB VFR, routing direct back to Leicester. Request basic service. Any Centre 45, thank you. Squawk 1177 mode, Charlie. Basic service. The Cotswold QNH 1023. Cotswold QNH 1023, Squawk 1177, Mo Charlie, Basic Service, Heli Centre 45. And sometimes just leave the QNH in because Charlie, Charlie. it's really well, only in the Midlands that we need to worry about. Point. Well, that is on uh, uh, one yeah, it's, so awkward. it's really awkward. It's awkward to see it and it's awkward to press it. The button thing is so nice in the cabaret. Um, but then again, the playback on this is great. Um, I could turn you two off and talk to a controller while you, two, you lot are having that's a chat. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, which is quite handy. Really smart. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. I just love how much space there is. Yeah. How about you, Connor? How's the... Uh... Got it, Sam. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Heli Centre 45, uh, we're now uh, overhead Market Harbour. We're going to change frequency to uh, Leicester Radio 122.130. Heli Centre 45, 
Negative, we're going to change to Leicester Radio on 122.130. Helium 45, thank you, Scorecard Security to Leicester. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and uh, just for clarity, it's Heli Centre 45, just in case the uh, Heli men is on frequency. <laughs> That's my fault, sorry. Too bit early for me to know that yet. I have never noticed that massive mansion. It's all oh, right. And it's literally right outside the zone. <laughs> yeah, it's because when you get to this point, you've always got other things to be thinking about. I've never seen that. It's obviously, what is it? It's like a visitor center or something. Look at all the cars. Oh, that's um, Wisto. I have been here. Oh, have you? I've walked along the canal here. What, along this bit of river? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's Wisto. What, what is it? Just a country, like a stately home. Oh, right. And then that's like a farm shop and stuff. Ah, right. Yeah. That's funny. Nice looking property, isn't it? Yeah, very yeah. smart. I wonder, I said this to Alex the other day, look at the sort of church behind the lake. Like, what's that doing there for? There's no village around it. It must have been the people who owned the, yeah, the manor. Like must a have, folly thing, yeah. Yeah, it must have built it. 300 foot a minute, 200 foot a minute, 35 knots. They've done a good job painting up all the grass. Yeah, they've done a nice job of it. Yeah. Well, that just about wraps this one up, folks. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed flying it. Don't forget to hit the like button and get stuck into the comments as well. I do try and respond to everyone. If you like my films and you'd like to support me creating content, you can always buy me a coffee too. All the links to do that and to follow me on social media are in the description. Well, that was great fun, lads. I really enjoyed that. Thank you for your, uh, your company and your laughs. Well, thank you very much for flying us around. It's a yeah. pleasure. Nice way to spend a Sunday. It is a nice way to spend a Sunday. Yeah, great, <laughs> right, that's us back at Heli Centre. Um, so the big Every question day. is, would you fly with me again? I'll take Roy on air. Yeah. Services. Fair <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Well, I'm not sure that's a ringing endorsement, but I'll take it anyway all the same, in light of nothing better. So, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that sort of stuff and particularly give your reviews of Connor's hair as well, which he'll uh, be tremendously pleased about. <laughs> uh, see you on the next video. Cheerio.